Well, good morning, sinners, and welcome back to another Tuesday edition of Eat My Shorts right here at the Rant and Share, smoking me a lucky strike, watching Alan Peg Bundy fly in and out of the neighbor's dryer vent because the fucking birds, right? I do love my birds, uh, Pecker and Alan Peg Bundy and the spawn of Pecker that hop around the yard looking for the worm in the morning. That's not what we're here to talk about today. Now, I'll confess, uh, sometimes I don't always remember what goes on in the nighttime, and sometimes I wake up with a buzz still. But nothing changes the fact I love my angel of the morning. Uh, she's a wonderful woman, and uh, I believe God firmly dropped her in my lap for me. Sure, we fight sometimes, we argue. You know. And then we discuss other things, too. And uh, one of them things, my friend American Mexican Gunslinger, if you don't know who the fuck he is, get out of my video and go look at my community page right now. Because he went on an epic Joe Morgan inspired fucking rant this morning. Well, uh, I saw the video this morning. I think he did it last night. But I'll tell you what. He knows what's up, man. He might be a younger kid, and, you know, he's got a wife, a kid, you know, all the shit. You know, it's part of life, man. But, you know, he, he, he seems to agree with me on the uh, key fact that Mr. Smith & Wesson, or P Fluffy the Pet Revolver, can stop a lot of trouble in life. And, uh, quite frankly, I don't know how many times I've discussed this subject with y'all. And if you ain't listened yet, you need to start. Now, the incident in Texas, uh, I believe it was Allen, Texas, um, I think it's the same place that gun cleaning kits are made and things like that. Might be a different Allen, I don't know. <clears throat> you know, it's not too far away from where my friend Jason lives down there in Texas, and uh, his kids were going to go to that damn mall at one point or another, and uh, they had been there in the previous days. And yet some crazy bastard went in there and started shooting people, man. And it begs the question, how many times do we have to see this before people get the fucking point? Like, we know there are bad people in the world, we know there are crazy people, we know there are evil people. Now, whatever you believe in doesn't change the fact that for somebody to go in there and use innocent bystanders as a backstop is fucking wrong. You know, Mr. Smith & Wesson is for, for for trouble, right? It's, it's not for causing trouble, it's for fixing trouble. It's emergency rescue equipment. Now, what's really upsetting to me right now is the fact that, uh, you know, Stephen Crowder, you know, he, he gets on his little fucking tirades, and of course he, he talks about Rumble, and he'll watch my stuff there. Well, fuck Rumble, dude. I ain't about that shit. I'm on the YouTube for a reason. And today, uh, I realize it's probably going to be one of them days where I get inspired to rant, and uh, I'm pretty inspired to rant this morning. Homeboy had some interesting ink, if you, if you watch the thumbnail, right? He had a uh, Mr. Dirty Bird on his chest and uh, a couple of Sig Bolts on his arm. Hmm. Funny how they're uh, putting people like that in the media spotlight, right? You know, back when I was a young man, you know, it was crazy white kids doing shit. Then we had the War on Terror, and, uh, you know, it's always a pissed off Muslim doing shit. Now it's a bunch of crazy homeless people, and uh, now it seems full circle that they've uh, come after the Reich again, right? You know, Hitler's Germany, right? You gotta think, ooh, the bad men, the bad men with swastika tattoos, they did bad things. Well, fuck you. I've met a lot of interesting people in my life. Uh, I actually met a black man in my younger years. Uh, he was half Native American, and he had one hell of a swastika tattooed on his fucking forehead. And he rode with the Hell's Angels, man. So don't put us... All is those white people in the same box as the bad people, right? You know, people tattoo hate crimes on their body. It's, it's no big deal. Like, you know, a lot of people keep their shit covered up. 
you know, or they keep their beliefs to themselves. I do, and then I don't. But regardless of what color you are or what kind of a person you are, if you're a boy or a girl or you're confused about the matter or anything else, you have a divine right and a divine responsibility to your family and yourself. And that right is, and that obligation is, to be armed always because you don't know when fucking crazy people are going to show up. And a shout out to the lawn mowing crew. Uh, maybe they disposed of the yard pants, we just don't know. But, you know, to, to play devil's advocate here, you know, what if, what if they had a gay rainbow flag tattooed across their chest, you know? What if, what if they uh, are a twinkle-toed cocksucker, you know? Would I feel any different about the matter? No. You know, the gay, straight, kinky, you know, don't know what the fuck your problem is. It doesn't matter. Motherfuckers are always going to do crazy and evil shit, and it's your job to make sure you bring Mr. Smith & Wesson, the emotional support revolver, Fluffy the pet revolver, to the party, right? Because revolvers are awesome. You know, bonus point for a Magnum cartridge. Uh, 357 Magnum was a unique solution to a problem of uh, taking the proof out of bulletproof back in the day. You know, back in the days of John Dillinger with uh, pinstriped suits and, uh, you know, wingtip shoes, you know, and V8 Fords and Thompson submachine guns, nobody batted an eye at this problem. Like, people just fucking dealt with their bullshit. <sighs> Yet nowadays, any fucking jack-off can get on the internet and do some evil, crazy, fucking weird shit. Now, I'm no exception to this rule. I like to rant and rave on the YouTube. You know, sometimes I like to drink too much in the nighttime and smoke me a few lucky strikes and go to bed. But it don't change the fact that when trouble comes to find you, that you can either step the fuck up or you can lay down and accept your fate. And people that lay down and accept their fate have admitted that they've failed as human beings, that they've lost. And that is wrong. That's wrong think. If, if you value your safety in your family, law enforcement and 911 come to clean up a fucking mess. They don't give a fuck about you. They never have, they never will. <sighs> the days of Sergeant Stadenko and his uh, nickel plated Colt Python are long gone, man. You know, it's, it's a bygone from a different era. It's a meme at this point. You know, porno mustaches and lucky strikes and, you know, basket weave leather belts and, you know, speed loaders, right? It's, it's a uh, relic from the past at this point. You know, we live in the modern age where anybody can go buy a striker-fired 9mm online and have it shipped to their local FFL. And you have no excuse not to fucking have one on you, right? But you gotta dance with the date you brought to the party. And for me, it's pretty simple, right? I'm just a freedom-minded party animal and sometimes I do crazy shit. And sometimes I don't. But it don't change the fact that killing people is fucking wrong, right? Nobody's gonna argue that. But those people that fucking stood there, or laid down, or, or fucking ran away and hid, they're cowards. Because they didn't step up to the fight. And if there was one thing I want you to take away from this fucking rampage that I've been on. It don't matter if you got a hate crime tattooed on your body. It don't matter if you gay, straight, kinky, don't know what the fuck your problem is. It matters that when the time comes that you step the fuck up. Quit being a pussy. Quit making excuses. Do your job as a man or a woman. You know, grow a pair of lady balls if that's what you gotta do. You know, I got a big pair that fucking hangs to my knees sometimes because I don't fucking wear undershorts. You know, I'm a pretty simple fucking man. I can be a caveman at times. I can be a brute. You know, that's just my job. Jesus didn't want me to keep my fucking mouth shut, nor did anybody else. I got to go on a fucking rampage every day and tell people to quit being a fucking pussy. And if you're listening to this and you're a pussy, 
cowboy the fuck up. Channel your inner John Wayne and do what you need to do. And as always, if you don't like what I have to say about Sergeant Stadenko and his nickel-plated Colt Python uh, from a bygone era full of porno mustaches and lucky strikes, then you can eat my fucking shorts and have a fantastic day.